All right, so we have the entire lore of Space Marine 2 explained for Warhammer 40k lore. Let's go to the video. Guys and gal. Oh, long time no see. Campaign, I can comfortably say that the game slaps. It's also been enough time, in my opinion, to make a video <sighs> explaining the entire lore and story of Space Marine 2. As I know that a lot of people who are new to 40k that have played it would be a bit like, that was sick. It was. What the hell happened? So I thought, why not go over the entire story in my no-nonsense quick... Remember him from style? last year? So you don't have to spend an hour or so watching it from someone else when you could just be playing more Space Marine 2. Okay. Okay, fine. Maybe there'll be a little bit of nonsense, but you know what I mean. Before we get started, it's Warhammer. I'm so excited to finally unveil something I've been working on for a year. Oh, okay. Just to show you how you could get this 1-6 scale, officially licensed Titus statue sitting behind me. For the past 12 months, I've been working on a new business called Dice Dioramas. I've always wanted to make Warhammer dioramas. But with how much time they take and how busy I am, I could never justify doing it. So I teamed up with Chris from CK Creative, who is the right level of autistic for the job. And it was also fantastic at making dioramas to be Bro, able to like what lighting does this guy use, bro? Like one of six membership tiers, you will automatically be entered. His lighting looks crazy, away. like that's right. We are making a hectic diorama every month, with each diorama capturing a fan favorite moment from the lore and bring it to life. Our first diorama will be the Lion vs. Angron from the Arcs of Omen Jewel that they had. But we aren't just doing a 1v1. It will involve the surrounding battle and we'll have over 25 models. The coolest part is that each model will be magnetized to the diorama so you can take them off, use them in gameplay, then put them back on. However, that diorama is still in progress and that will be the giveaway for the Hard Launch next month. For the Bro, there's launch, like so much like, like today, behind we'll this game is crazy. It's limited, hand painted, and you cannot get it right now. Like it becomes available in a few months. Oh later. no, I'm gonna get it right As now. Soft launch, we're I'm gonna get it. Deal. Basically, only the diamond and emerald tiers will be available. However, if you sign up to them now, you'll get the following five months. Free. Oh no, forget so signing up. I'm, 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 I'm confiscating it now. Every month for six months, you'd pay once now, and then nothing for the. We next all know Titus is the that. goat. You the know. The idea is that as this business model is a bit unique, and we haven't proven ourselves to you guys yet, anyone that does put their faith in us early and gives us this early support to help us crush some of the fat debt we've incurred, we want to offer those people the best value. Only the people who join during this soft launch. They spent 50k on statue. this, yo. There are other benefits such as discount codes to affiliate brands non-diorama giveaways like models gamer chairs and so on as well as a private discord server Damn, you got I'll this thing hooked up video. okay guys is in greater detail tomorrow but if you're ready to rock and roll then the link is below today we'll go over the entire lore and story of space marine 2 adding some extra details and context to confusing plot points where needed now uh, let's get into it let's go let's get right into it <laughs> the developers of space marine 2 wanted to make their series canon to the overall story which it wasn't in Space Marine 1. So cleverly, instead of retconning a bunch of shit and pissing people off, <laughs> they simply altered the timeline slightly to make it slot in. For example, okay. instead of Titus being retconned to not be the captain of the second company, a role that famously belongs to Kato Sicarius, they simply set Space Marine 1 a couple centuries beforehand, making oh. Titus one of Kato's predecessors. After the events of Space Marine 1, where Titus was taken by the Inquisition, uh -huh. he was put into stasis as a punishment for his perceived corruption. The Ultramarines attempted to get him back, but to no avail. However, the Inquisitor who took Titus was violently killed during a mission, which led to his belongings being investigated. Uh -oh. They discovered Titus, amongst other space marines, and freed them, handing them over to the Death Watch. The Death Watch deemed Titus pure and fit for duty. Oh, However, nice! Titus felt ashamed as he believed he had failed in his duty as an Ultramarine, and he also discovered that his records had been mostly expunged from his chapter, so he became a chapterless Black Shield. Titus served well in the Death Watch, becoming a squad leader, and was assigned to deliver a virus weapon to Kadaku. Look at the goat, the man! was getting invaded by the Tyranids, the Space Bugs of Death. As the uh -oh. Death Watch was specialist in killing aliens, the mission made sense. Titus's entire squad is separated and killed off due to the ship crash landing, with Titus delivering the virus and activating it. He got WWE off the ship. Invasion. However, soon after this, he jewels a Carnifex, which isn't something you guys want to jewel, and he gets fucked up pretty bad. Yeah. However, before he can be finished off, he is saved by his Ultra Buddies, who take him to their ship and perform an emergency surgery to turn Titus into a Primaris, which is a new age, slightly upgraded space marine. This is the only way to save him, as Primaris bodies can handle more damage. The Ultramarines are shocked that Titus lives, with Marnius, the chapter master of the Ultramarines, and second only to Primarch Gilliman, restoring him to chapter with full honors. Bro, he's the However, goat. Look the at his body. The company captain already taken, Titus is given the rank of lieutenant, technically a demotion. However, Marnius also doesn't really fill anyone in on who the fuck Titus is. So second company just randomly getting an unknown Primaris lieutenant out of seemingly nowhere, so they're all a bit sus. As it's been two centuries why would since put Titus was last with the second company, the vast majority of the company is made up of new marines who have never served with Titus. So whilst everyone respects Titus's rank and his ability, they are all assholes to him. 
Titus and his two new squad mates, which Sarge isn't right at all. Brother Carrion, go back to Kadaku to try stem the Tyranid threat and also extract the research for a special project called Aurora, a super weapon the Mechanicus is working on. Sergeant Gadriel is a hot as hell dutiful son of Ultramar. He follows <laughs> orders, but also has an extreme zero tolerance policy for any form of corruption. In saying that, he does enjoy a bit of unconventional tactics. He is also a bit salty at Titus for taking his role as head of the squad. Brother Carrion is a hot tempered Ultramarine who was actually on Kalf when the traitor were there was a 10,000 years ago. Bro got Tom Tom Brady. He was chosen to join the Primaris program and put into stasis for 10,000 years, recently emerging with the return of Gilliman. As such, he has an extremely deep hatred for all things Chaos. Although all three Ultramarines despise Chaos, only Titus and Carrion have experienced it firsthand. Their initial missions are met with success, helping push back the Tyranids' onslaught by capturing or protecting key areas. They then proceed to extract the Mechanicus Adept who is working on Project Aurora, and while they succeed in doing so, the extraction ship is sabotaged by Chaos and blown up, with the Mechanicus Adept getting murdered. Titus begins to get suspicious over Project Aurora after he comes in contact with a piece of it and it makes him pass out due to it emitting Chaos Energies. Uh -oh. The squad must then track down the Mechanicus Adept second in command on the nearby world of Avarax, the last living person who understands Project Aurora, which is revealed to be a super weapon designed to wipe out Chaos and even has the potential to close the Great Rift. The project uses a mix of Imperial Tech, Necron Tech, and where the issue lays, Chaos Tech. The very same artifact that caused all the issues in Space Marine 1 was, I don't think that, and is was that me? The power source for Project Aurora. Titus advocates for its shutdown, but he gets overruled. The situation deteriorates further when the Thousand Suns Legion, a legion of traitor marines who serve Zinch, the Chaos God of Change and Pranks and Shit, arrive on Avarax and begin blasting, kicking Ooh. off a three-way battle. Good news! The situation has gotten out of control and they need assistance. He and his warriors travel to the Astropathic Temple to try send a psychic message to Chapter Master. Oh, I know this. Helga. I know the scene. During this, Sergeant Gadriel has been growing more and more suspicious of Titus. Here was a random ass marine who comes out of nowhere, has a ton of baggage, was revealed to be a black shield due to being accused of. He's the go. He's allowed to do whatever he wants. Artifact and was apparently unaffected, and who didn't like explaining his past or his shame. So when they reached the choir, he doesn't have to. to be sent. As it was sending, the astropath began accusing Titus of heresy, claiming that he was trying to lure Kalga to Avrax so he could be ambushed, and that Titus was trying to finish the corrupted work he started two centuries ago. Gadriel heard enough and tried to execute Titus for heresy, and during their fight, Brother Carrion shoots the astropath. Revealing her to have been possessed by a thousand sun sorcerer called Imara, who dumb, was dumb. in the Ultramarines. Imara had actually manipulated the entire war against the Tyranids to create the opportunity they needed. Now we got half corrupt the Zamasu. Entirely clear yet. Brother Carrion not being suspicious of Titus and instead knowing the astropath was a bit dodgy is revealed by the fact that due to him being on Kalth when it was attacked, he recognizes and understands the mark of chaos and signs of corruption, and Titus has displayed zero corruption. As a side note, a second Ultramarine squad now he wanna apologize tyrant which is their leader around this time this effectively breaks the tyranny force on avarax and removes them as a major threat the mechanicus adept then travels to the final world in the system called demirium and works on project aurora demirium is a cemetery world as well as a dormant necron tomb world so it's all spooky and shit the thousand sons are trying to attack project aurora but are seemingly repelled by it titus and friends reach the project and titus demands the mechanicus adept shut it down the adept refuses saying that they can use it to beat chaos he then properly activates it which seemingly works before imra then laughs and says just as planned revealing that he had subtly manipulated the mechanicus into engaging in good douche as its activation ends up flooding the world with warp energy and opening up a massive chaos rift in which the forces of zinch can charge out in great number Imra then kills the Y'all saw uh, Latitis America? Look at him. Holding the flag while he's shooting. That's a goat. the sources of the enemy's power. They do try their best, but they are surrounded and forced into a fucking epic last stand. Ultramarines are falling. The enemy has them outnumbered and outgunned. But then, like Rohan during the Siege of Minas Tirith, uh -oh. Kalga arrives with reinforcements and they gangbang the Chaos forces, saving Titus and his company. <laughs> yo, the yo, they're no. able to push back the enemy and reverse the power of each Necron Blackstone Obelisk, changing them from generating warp energy to suppressing it. With that sorted, there is a final push to take out the enemy for good. The Ultramarines charge through and are absolutely braining the enemy. With Imara seemingly retreating, but not before sending out a time slot. Who's good news? Except for our merry band of heroes. In an apparent moment of turbo epicness, Manius Kalgar decides time slowing waves of crew. Bro, look how look how Kalgar Kalgar just walks. Look how he's Titus walking. He's moving his shoulders while he walks. The portal leads to Imara's pocket dimension in the warp, where it's revealed that the entire multi-world spanning scheme was all designed to lure Kalgar here and kill him. Basically, the most high effort, complicated assassination attempt in the galaxy. To be fair, taking out Kalga would be huge for Chaos, as Kalga is one of the Imperium's greatest heroes. Bro, but he's a goat. Trapped here, Kalga is hard to kill, with Imra basically throwing Kalga down a well and flooding it with his warriors. 
but Kalga just keeps killing them all. Titus fights Imara as well as a Lord of Change, wounding Imara and forcing him to also throw Titus down the same well. Titus is able to use his innate resistance to the warp to handle Imara's bullshit hacks and he finally reaches Kalga and together they fight through the constant warp bullshit and reach Imara. Kalga, Carrion, this and scene was beautiful. Lord of Change while Titus breaks the source of Imara's power, shredding the sorcerer and ending the chaos in Skin the plot is thwarted. Titus has earned the trust and respect of his battle brothers, including his captain who was a massive prick to him all game. Marius <coughs> personally gives Titus the laurels of victory, a massive honor, and then instructs him to personally accompany him on a mission. The second company chaplain, a grim skulled faced warrior who is also up Titus's ass most of the game, but he's so Titus, weird, saying he has earned the respect of his chapter, but that he will keep an eye on him, and he believes that Titus still may have taint within him. No, he's chaplain not. Then removes his helmet and reveals himself to be the Andros, <laughs> and he like Titus lesser from GTA. <laughs> <laughs> and cause all the bullshit Titus had to endure in the first place. Titus then embarks on his mission with Kalgar and in the game. Fortunately, the lore of the game itself is pretty self-contained, with yeah. a number of references to the first Space Marine game, so it doesn't require a ton of 40k lore knowledge to appreciate. But I'll answer a few questions that I think some people may now have. Okay. The big ass bird monster at the end of the game is a basic Lord of Change greater demon, of which there are many. They are often used as boss units for Chaos in other games and lore. The tech used in Project Aurora that glows green is Necron Tech. One of the other factions. I thought that was, thought that was Crypt Time. Have seen the events technology and also the hatred of the warp. Speaking of the warp, that is where the final boss fight takes place and is also the place where chaos comes from. It's like hell, but it can be drawn upon for power and is even used for faster than light travel. Imura was an original character for the game and has never shown up before. He uh, had okay. a personal vendetta against Marnius Kalgar due to Kalgar kicking his ass a few centuries prior. This man had As beef. As why they used the Chaos artifact to try fight Chaos, this is a common theme in Warhammer 40k, where Chaos likes to tempt people into trying to use Chaos to fight Chaos by pretending Chaos is a good tool to use against Chaos. This pretty much always ends poorly. You cannot reliably use fire to fight fire in 40k except for the few times it actually works out. Looking at you, Eisenhorn, there will more than likely be a DLC for Space Marine 2 that continues the story. Really? So I'm sure I'll have more to say in the future. If you enjoyed the video and you want to support the channel, then check out Dice Dioramas. Brother, I did. Which is live as of right now. So if you want to take advantage of the five months free offer, as well as to go into the draw to win a 1-6 Titus statue. Bro, shout out, bro. Shout out to this guy, bro. I, rem I literally remember last year I reacted to his uh, first Warhammer like lore video. And I think it was like, what, 30 minutes long? Um, it, it's so crazy, like, looking at his face again because that was legit, was like a year ago. And now, obviously, like, you know, bro, he's, you know, the guy, he's still kicking and stuff like that. I've actually visited his channel, bro. The man is, bro, he's going absolutely bonkers right now, man. Um, and it's so crazy because, uh, like, it, it made me look at my channel. And, like, last year, I think I had around, what, like, 1,000 subscribers. And now uh, I'm at, like, 6,000. It's crazy on, on just how how like everybody's channel is growing now yeah i, I think that's just crazy and, it, and like it wow i just wanted to, i just wanted to say that little part like it's just crazy how you know if you keep going at something uh even for a year you know you might get a lot of you know major changes so um shout out to everybody you know who stayed around and you know who watched all you know who watched all my videos bro i'm pretty bro in a year we've had some crazy times on this channel bro um i think one of my favorite ones was the gta 6 trailer just randomly dropping uh on a i think on a tuesday night or, or on a monday night i think um and like everybody being hyped overnight i reacted to, like that was like one of my like most hyped moments uh on this channel um me getting more involved into warhammer a shout out to everybody shout out to all the, the the warhammer uh fans out there you know who really invited me into this space because uh i did not know that this space even existed you know before like like two years ago so um, you know, me covering all these games, me seeing my boy, you know, the GOAT, the Batman, die to Harley Quinn. I'm sorry, to the four custodians. I'm still twisted about that one. But um, all these different games that we covered that we covered on this channel and uh that we've even that we've even like discovered before, or that I've even discovered and that you guys, you know, came through and introduced me to. I really wanna appreciate you guys so much, you know, uh, and I know I'm rambling right now, I'm yapping. Uh but I just wanna I just wanna thank you guys so much for uh, you know, for uh, welcome me to you know a, a lot all these like you know gaming uh spaces and you know and stuff like that man thank you guys so much other than that man make sure you guys subscribe to the channel like the video um yeah man I, I, i'm pretty excited man uh, he says it might be a dlc so we'll see i haven't heard any news about that but other than that man so you guys have to make sure you guys subscribe to the channel like the video if you guys haven't already and see you guys have out